Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's been a while, about six weeks. Um, it's just been, uh, haven't done much of an update because it's just been hot, and uh, I've had a couple other personal things going on. That, uh, the combination of the two is just not going to be pretty. So, um, so here we are. Our uh, my wife's uh, sunflowers are just uh, killing it. Actually, uh, we're going to start getting some flowers here. They're already going. Um, the idea about uh, the cabbage in here turned out to be not such a great idea. Uh, they're just not doing very well, and. Um, so that's that. Thought it might work, but uh, had a little bit of a deer issue here, and um, what I ended up doing was taking cayenne spray or cayenne powder and uh, some garlic, mixing it up in water, drained it after it uh, sit overnight. Sprayed these plants, and uh, they stopped eating it. So that. That works. Um, so we'll get on to uh, the rest of the garden here. Got some cantaloupes popping up. I think we've got about uh, close to 20 of them in here. And they're all doing pretty well. They're just now starting to get a little bit of brown veining through there. So I'm hoping maybe in a few more weeks we'll have, uh, we'll have some cantaloupe to eat. And uh, here's some beans that I put in. It's kind of a last minute decision. I had a little space left here and I wanted to do something with it. I'm trying to keep my shadow out of all this. but uh, And uh, so we've got some flowers coming up on those. So that's, uh, we'll get some light stuff out of this, I'm pretty sure. And uh, down here is our spaghetti squash. So I've never grown spaghetti squash before, and next time I do it, I think I'm, I'm going to do less plants because this stuff is out of control. I just never even, never even had the slightest idea how bad these would get. This is like watermelons and pumpkins. Um, they go crazy, man. I've, I've grown other kind of squash that didn't get like this, but this is only four plants, and. Uh, it's it's just taken over everything so we've got probably 15 16 of these we've already taken a bunch out and uh, so I think what I'm gonna do later on today after work is I'm gonna come pick all the squash and I'm gonna rip this out of here because this is uh, the area that I want to use for some of our our fall garden um, we've got a few potatoes in here but they, I don't know, they're just, they got taken over by the squash and uh, who knows how well those are going to do. Probably not very well at all. Um, <clears throat> but we're happy with it. I think next year we're just going to do two of these plants and it's not going to be anywhere near uh, where the rest of our garden is. Um, so I've got my, my fence up here and we've got all the tomatoes tied back on it. And these have been doing really good. Um, I did have to hand water these uh, one time this year, about two weeks ago. It was just so hot out here, and I started seeing some blossom end rot, and we hadn't had any rain for almost a week. Um, so I got out here, and I took care of that. And uh, looks like the blossom end rot has stopped. It, it only affected a few tomatoes. Um, so they're doing real well. These are uh, San Marzano tomatoes. Uh, we mostly make sauce, sauce and salsa. Um, so these are perfect for that nice meaty tomato. Um, I'm hoping the audio turns out okay on this because this is just a quick cell phone thing and uh, the audio isn't the best on this. So you may have to turn up your volume a little bit. All right, so here we are with the pepper plants. Um, I've got a bunch of two by fours and stuff left at work. Um, it's just kind of scrapped from doing some temporary supporting on a project I'm doing. And uh, I need to get all that stuff cut up into stakes 
um, because these have obviously gotten a little top heavy and these little quarter inch sticks aren't working anymore. I propped them up a few times. I just figured I'm not going to screw around with the, uh, the root base much anymore and keep putting them up and letting them fall over until I get a good stake in here. So I should have those cut today, be able to bring those home and get these things off the ground. Uh, our garlic is gone. Um, that turned out pretty well. Got a lot of nice seed garlic for next year and plenty to use for ourselves this year. And right now we're starting to harvest some of the bigger onions that we have. Um, they're all kind of in, in different uh, different sizes right now. So we're just going through and we're picking the bigger ones, leaving the rest to kind of go ahead and do its thing. Um, but uh, all in all, we've, we're having a great year with the garden, even with a few little uh, little problems like this here and there. But that that'll straighten itself out, or I'll get it straightened out. So. <clears throat> All right, a lot of you have been asking uh, on the last video how things are going. Uh, I apologize for not really uh, being around for the last few weeks, but like I said, it's been so hot out here, I just didn't want to be outside if I didn't have to be. And uh, But things are going pretty well for not really watering only once this year. And uh, had some personal issues going on with my health it's just been a bad year um, just a lot of respiratory stuff and fatigue and I've got dehydrated and uh, it's just and then I got uh, I get this reoccurring tendonitis in my ankles sometimes and I just got done with a bad flare-up of that so yeah well, the fun stuff you get to talk about when you turn 50 um, it sucks man uh, I mean Little things that happen just don't seem to go away quite as quick as when I was younger. So, Well, we're going to do some more update videos, but I just thought I'd do this quick one just to show you how things are going. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, we're you know, going to probably uh, do things a little different next year. We're going to definitely uh, probably double the size of the, of the garden um, next year. Uh, just now that we know kind of what we're into and what's working and what's not um, so we're, we're looking forward to that and uh, stay tuned I'll probably do uh, do a little update on our fig plants there or our fig trees there I've actually got one of them that's got a lot of figs on it they're doing really well and then uh, pigs are doing great uh, so I'll probably get them in, in there too but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this uploaded this morning before I leave for work and uh, please hit the like button on this video. It always helps. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And uh, uh, I promise it won't be six weeks until we do the next update. I'm going to get all this cleared out in the next day or two uh, and get this ready for our fall garden. Uh, we're going to clear out um, where the onions were, too. And I think I'm going to plant some beets over there. i got to look and, and see how long those actually take to... Uh, to produce but um, we're gonna have a decent fall garden here this year and I'm looking forward to that and the tomatoes they just keep coming on and coming on so we're real happy with that we'll be making some uh, spaghetti sauce real soon <clears throat> so I'll, I'll talk to you guys uh, real soon and thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later